once had a puggle come to the Australia Zoo Wildlife Hospital. Oh, he's cute. Isn't he cute? Is he a baby one? He's a baby one. Well, he's about a year old now. The puggle had actually lost his mother. So every day we'd have to feed this little orphan puggle. It's got like ground up insects and ants in it. Where is it? They're all crunched up in it. Is it? Yeah. Did you get it in your mouth? You might turn into an echidna now. No. <laughs> Dad introduced me to echidnas. And since that day, I have just always had this affinity with echidnas. I think that they're my spirit animal. They're my favorite little creatures in the whole world. Her next big life challenge is going out onto our African savanna to say good day to the rhinos and zebras and all of our Australian zoo visitors. There's a lot left to come, but she's a very courageous little giraffe. And I can't wait to meet her for the first time. I might just explode into glitter when I meet her with happiness. <laughs>
Rolani is one of the best trackers here at Balule, and he has been tracking animals for over 20 years. That's a white rhino. <gasps> no, really? Rhino. There isn't. Oh my god. A white rhino in the water. There's drinking the water there. You found a white rhino? Yeah. This is incredible, uh, Rolani. Thank you so much. We're looking at a white rhino <laughs> right there. There's only been a handful of times that I've ever seen a rhino in the wild. And this has got to be the moment that took the cake. It was so special. And see the ox peck on it? It kind of ticks on it. Oh, we all need an ox pecker <laughs> to keep us looking gorgeous. <laughs> He's getting some trees, he's scratching away. Oh, in the tree. You see, he's scratching the horns. And... Wow. Looking at him, I couldn't imagine anyone coming along and taking his horn. But it's also so heartwarming to know that it's never going to be touched. He's going to be protected yeah. forever. Really? Seeing a rhino from a vehicle is extraordinary. But getting out of the truck into the middle of the African bush to walk up to that rhino, that's a whole different story. Okay. Listen, we can stop here. You see, start to start moving. Oh, I can see him. So right he's there. coming towards us. For me, just being able to learn about the rhinos and see them in the wild, it instills that determination to protect them forever. You fall in love with them when you get to see them like this. And this has just brought the entire trip together because of the black mambas and all the work that they're doing. He's allowed to keep wandering just like he's doing right now. And he just disappears again right back into the bush. Yes. Easy, easy. Ah. Oh. I was almost in tears. I was so happy. 